Hello everybody and welcome to the House of Jinshen. I'm in Amsterdam today and I'm here with Jessica who is a part <laughs> of my family and I'm happy she's here. We're going to talk about a head project. I obviously came to Holland very quickly for a, a family uh, kind of emergency, oh, I would yeah. say. Everything is fine and um, actually Jessica was the uh, 911 person to practice the Jinshen to keep everything stable. So I will share that with you. But first I want to show you a quick look of Amsterdam. Here we, yeah, I think you can see that here. So you see the little, see, make sure you can see it here. Yes, the little water here. And so we're in the middle of Amsterdam and it's just really lovely here. I'm glad to be here. Situation is stabilized with my dad and I hope everybody will join along. So this um, flow that I'm gonna share with you today is very good for things such as stroke conditions or any brain condition, as well as if you have migraines. The depth three is very helpful for brain projects. And so I'm gonna share with you the 16, 17, 18, 19 sequence, which today I I taught Jessica because she's gonna work with my dad when I'm not here. And we're gonna follow along today in the little notebook from the core. And it's very simple. So first we're gonna practice it on ourselves. And we're gonna place one hand on the 16 and the other one on the little toe. So you're like this. I'm going to have to oops, really stretch here. 16 and the little toe. So I don't know, can you practice along on yourself? Yeah. So 16 is the beginning of depth three. Depth three has all to do with blood. And that's why I was talking um, about it's very helpful for stroke conditions um, if you get to this flow within 24 hours there will be no you know paralysis or if there's speech projects this is very very important so 16 sel 16 is crucial for that and i'm just going to show it here on jessica um and you, you've had some gallbladder projects right gallbladder, the gallblast yeah i'm translating a little bit for jessica but 16 the gallbladder flow moves through the 16 and so yeah just take a deep breath here she's starting to hold her breath yeah yeah so you feel her tenderness here yes in the 16 yeah so if you have gallbladder projects or uh, you know migraines they have all to do with the gallbladder flow because the gallbladder flow moves on the side of the head back and forth and back and forth so this sequence, the 16, 17, 18, 19 sequence is very, very important. And the first step is the little toe and the 16. And you know, I noticed also because I had Jessica work with me today that she's not breathing enough. Is it, have you ever heard that before? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Come in closer. <laughs> okay. But maybe this, SEL 16 is also taking her breath away because if it's tender, you know, and again, we don't want to force it, but if you go in firm, you may feel some congestion. So the first step is very important and I hope you can all see it. I'm going to see if I can move the camera a little bit. I don't know if she can <laughs> bring her, but it's right here. So just to be very... And her 16 is very tight. So I'm going to practice this on her first and explain how to practice it on someone else. Again, when you practice on somebody, uh, on yourself, you can switch your hands around to make it comfortable. So you just drop it. So, yeah. And I'm going to give Jessica a session tomorrow. Right? Yes. <laughs> so, Jessica, can you explain while well, everybody's practicing along and I'm seeing Maida. She's your what? Your aunt, aunt yes. is watching also from Amsterdam. Hi, Maida. Hello, Maida. <laughs> um, uh, what was I going to... That took me for a loop for a minute. I'm going to show how to practice this on someone else. And please practice along on yourself. So this is the first step. 
little toe and you get in here right on the base do you feel any tenderness in there too yes yeah so if you have a project a gallbladder project um blood condition in the head the brain migraines then you're gonna find tenderness in there and then we're gonna move the hand from the little toe to the 25 which is the sits bone so i'm like right on her tushy <laughs> right here so i'm holding 16 and 25. 16 and 25 25 helps us to regenerate the body and 16 is our transformation it's our foundation it's on the on the foot and so it brings the energy down um, 16 has a relationship to the bladder flow and the gallbladder flow and both of those are descending bringing the energy down and then i'm going to take the hand from the 16 and i'm going to place it on this 19 here and this we can show everybody <laughs> so when your person is lying down it's is very comfortable right because you yes. helped me practice before and she helped me practice and jessica can you explain what you felt it was the first time she actually gave a session because i help, had her help me when i was uh, treating my dad am i naming yeah, she's going to say it in Dutch and I'm going to translate. So this was her first session and we both did the 16, 17, 18, 19 sequence. So what did you feel? I feel that I can max zijn energy gevoeld, alles doorstromen. She felt Max, Max is my dad. She felt his energy move and uh, she felt it really moving feeling the energy move yeah I get the noise she she never expected that so you you were actually quite skeptical yeah? yeah so she actually felt the pulsation in the safety energy locations right yeah you felt the pulsation and at first they were very quiet but as we were practicing together i could explain to her that sometimes you feel the pulsation very 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 quiet and sometimes it's very very loud and we really want it to be harmonious. And we felt it, right? Yes. We felt it going uh, in and out of it becoming very quiet, too quiet. And I always say they're like children. When they're too quiet, they ask for attention. And when they're too loud, we ask for, they ask for attention. So then I'm moving on. We're going to move. We're going to leave the hand on the 19 and we're going to move to the 17. And I told her also to drop her shoulders. That's right. Yes. Right. <laughs> so 17 and 19. And the next step is 18. So sometimes I do it like this. I place my thumb on the 18 and place my fingers on the 17. So you're holding 17, 17, 18 and 19 at the same time. And Sometimes we say there's a relationship to depth three and the mediator, the mediator energy. And this is for the people who are a little bit more advanced because we have all levels watching. And here is that relationship because we know that depth three, safety energy location 16 through 22, and the mediator flow the mediator energy moves through the arm. So this is where that relationship comes into being. And so we are helping depth three. So I'm, I'm really clearing, giving her a session here, but she's still not breathing enough, right? <laughs> Stress. <laughs> oh, no, don't please, this is so, this is a, our very, very wonderful, sweet community. So this is a very, very nice hold to do on someone, doesn't this feel nice? Though? Yes. Okay. And then we're gonna move um, the hand from the 19 and we're gonna move it to the opposite 15. So yeah, just relax, make yourself comfortable. Yes, 15 is here on the upper thigh. So I'm still holding 17, 18 and then the 15. Okay, so that's if you practice it on someone else and now I'm gonna show it how you can practice it on yourself, which is a little bit more 
um, interesting. We're going to adjust it because um, this flow is only illustrated how to practice it on someone else. But all of these you can tailor to your own self-help needs. So one hand goes on the 16 and the other one goes to the little toe. So I guess you're going to have to imagine that. 16 <coughs> is the outside of the ankle bone. And yes, just stay in there with me. <laughs> yes. And then the hand from the little toe goes to the 25, which is the tailbone, which is the sits bone here. And I'm, I hope I'm clear to all of you. I just arrived here this morning. I was still in New York um, yesterday. So this was very, very unexpected. And if you're wondering, by the way, about COVID, I just had was tested in New York. Otherwise, you can't enter the country. And Jessica actually is immune because <laughs> uh, both my dad and Jessica had COVID. Yes. And so uh, there we go. My dad has been through a lot. He's 86, he had COVID, and now he had this little incident. And today he was out walking again and working, even though he has to take it easy, he's just out and about. Hi, Cynthia. Yes, I'm happy to be in Amsterdam. Okay, so we have 25 and then we go to the 19. From the hand from the 16, we take to 19, clearing the waistline. And any head project, it's so important to clear the waistline so that the energy can descend. So 19 is always a good place to start, holding the 19s to clear any head project, brain project. Okay, and here we're gonna modify it a little bit from textbook material, okay? Because we're gonna go to, from the 19, we're gonna go to the 17, and you can hold to 18. So again, I'm doing it like this. 17 and 18, 17 and 18. So I'm sitting on my hand and I'm holding 17 and 18. Hi, mom, we're in the middle of a live, so just wait. <laughs> yeah, it's a big family event here. <laughs> yeah, my mom says hi. <laughs> um, and then we are going to 15. So we're going to take our hand from the 17 and 18 to the opposite 15. Okay, so right now we're holding 25 and 15. So please feel free to adjust any of these sequences and cater them to your own self-help. Um, I hope this was a helpful session and thank you, Jessica, so much for being uh, with us. And, you know, again, it was her first time. I'm gonna practice with Jessica every day and then I'm gonna teach her two, one sequence and one flow, one organ flow and one sequence that she can just start to practice with. So. Start anywhere. You feel comfortable with it now, right? Yes. Yes. Very nice. Okay. So thank you everybody for joining and I'll see you all on Friday. Bye. Bye. <laughs>